there's two steel options to manufacture as forged connecting rods that will be subjected to bending loads. One is an AISI 4340 that has an ultimate tensile strength of 260 KSI. The other one is a plain carbon steel, a 1040, that has an ultimate strength of 113 KSI. The diameter of the rod must be 0.75 inches. Which material would you choose if you're designing the rods for infinite life? This is the first example for the Marine Factor's main video. The link to that is in the description of this video. If we're designing the rods for infinite life, it means that the material properties that we're interested in is the endurance limit, which is the fatigue strength for 1 million cycles or more if we're talking about steels. We know that we use the marine factors to get a more reliable estimate of that endurance limit. So for each one of the materials, we'll find the marine factors that apply and the first rough estimate of that endurance limit, SE prime. We know that SE prime is estimated as half the ultimate strength as long as the ultimate strength is below 200 KSI. Otherwise, SE prime is assumed to be 100 KSI. The A coefficient and B exponent for the expression for the surface factor Ka are given by the surface finish or manufacturing process. By looking up a surface modification factor Ka for as-forged materials in KSI, we find values of 12.7 and minus 0.758. And since regardless of the material I'm using, they will be as forged, I will use the same A and B for the 1040 steel. For an ultimate strength of 260, the surface factor Ka yields a value of 0.188. The expression for the size factor Kb will be the one that corresponds for diameters between 0.3 inches and 2 inches. With an effective diameter of 0.75 inches, we find a size factor of 0.907. Since bending is the type of loading, the loading factor Kc will be equal to 1. There's no mention of temperature or reliability, so we'll assume Kd and Ke to be 1. The rough estimate Se prime for the 1040 steel will in this case be half of the ultimate strength since the ultimate strength is not higher than 200 KSI. The surface factor, using a 113 KSI for the ultimate strength, yields a value of 0.353. Since the size factor Kb depends on the diameter, and the diameter is the same regardless of the material, the size factor Kb will have the same value. Regardless of the material, once again, the rod will be subjected to bending, so Kc equal to 1 applies to both materials as well. The corrected endurance limit using the marine factors for the 4340 is equal to 17.1 KSI, while for the 1040, the endurance limit will be 18.4 KSI. Since the endurance limit is higher for the 1040, it makes sense to choose this material for an application that requires infinite life. The purpose of this example is to show that even though the ultimate strength of one material is way higher than the other, for a part subjected to cyclic loading, we care about the fatigue strength and not the ultimate tensile strength. For one more example where we use marin factors to get a corrected endurance limit estimate, check the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.